Welcome to the fire, my friend. Take a seat and relax. And while you're relaxing, how about a story? That guy DM makes me hate Pathfinder, r slash RPG horror stories posted by insert underscore text underscore zero zero. To start off, I'm slowly coming around to see the good in Pathfinder, but it's just how this DM made me feel when I first started that made me really question if the system just made things harder for the players. Also, if my post doesn't come off as too normal, I'm sorry, my first time doing something like this. In my first game with that guy, I experienced a handful of headaches from both players and the DM himself. Firstly, one of the things he does and has trouble with is communication. When I first joined the game, he didn't tell me what the game is about. He didn't tell me where the game is based. He just simply told me that the players are on a mission for a mystic, someone with a lot of power. Then he also typed in slight broken English, which I could ignore as long as it wasn't too complicated. Secondly, he was stupid levels of nitpicky when it came to the rules and certain abilities. I couldn't count how many times the gunslinger and the DM got into an argument about something the gunslinger can do, but the DM doesn't want them to do. For instance, making guns. It's in their class ability level 1. Then, in another game, they got into an argument about how automatic guns worked. Then there was a time the DM picked with the same player, who was an Arcanist, and wanted to use the Mending Cantrip to fix an item. It sparked an argument mid-game, but in the end it took another player pulling up how it worked and what the DM said earlier. Thirdly, he runs his games like a meat grinder, and either Fs with us on how we couldn't survive, or why we couldn't handle killing 12 owlbears. So far, playing in his games I fought almost an entire ship of pirates, and then their zombies went up against a ghost only one other player with a plus 7 sword could harm, and somehow couldn't hear where they were, even with a nat 20, fought around 12 owlbears, Fought what felt like a small army of gangsters, fought an entire prison's worth of communists, not on my own, and with enemies doing thick levels of damage to the party. Fourthly, there is the rolling for minor things. I don't mind having to roll for certain things, like having to jump across a chasm, or to spot something hidden but I kind of have a problem having to roll for something that my character could just do off the bat. I couldn't tell you the times when I had to roll acrobatics to cross a small gap in the sewers or rolling perception to see what's inside a treasure chest. Only time I would say I gotten pretty far without rolling was when I threw a couple people off a wall by simply going to the next guy and telling them that someone fell off while disguised as one of the guards. It went well till one player spoke up. I needed to use bluff, which I didn't mind using even when I failed. Lastly, one of the biggest things I would say he does wrong, not just as that guy, but as a GM, is playing the enemies wrong. I've seen a couple times, more than once where the DM would play enemies off as just idiots or just wanting to die and never moving for self-preservation. I still remember today that he had me stuck at one side of this prison, nobody to help me besides another character who's firing rockets from outside the prison. He had one group of the guards explode and turn into red mist dying and had the second group of them on their turn, not scattered to avoid being blown up. He didn't have them duck and cover. He didn't even have them bother just moving. They tried to keep shooting me as the other player just bombed them. I just feel kinda stupid now, not really walking away from them till he was killed in another game, 
by the Arcanist because he didn't listen to the party. Time and time again, what do I always say? Communication is key. Both the GM and the player has to be on the same page. In OP's case, you can't prepare for a game when you don't know what it's about. Also, the bit about the Gunslinger class. If you don't like a certain ability a class has, as a GM, you should not allow it. But if you do allow the class, then be prepared for it. All the good and all the bad. Then about the whole meat grinder thing, yeah, it just sounds like the GM doesn't understand how to scale encounters with the party, which honestly is a very, very important thing. The whole rolling for minor things, yeah, not too sure what that's all about. Taking in some of the previously mentioned things, it just sounds like, to me, it probably just amused the GM. And finally, playing the whole enemies wrong bit, yeah. I got a couple things to say about this. You could really tell how skilled a GM is by how they run tactics when it comes to their encounters. First of all, they shouldn't be static enemies, like early era Final Fantasy enemies by just standing there and swinging blindly when it's their turn. Depending on their intelligence and etc, they could set up ambushes, know when to retreat, and take advantage of even their surrounding environment. Have fun and give them a bit of flavor. I feel for you OP, sorry you had such a tough time. And that's our story. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more future content. Also, if you would kindly follow the socials posted in the description, that would be amazing. As always, be good, be great, be awesome.